What's up, YouTube? Robert here. YouTuber on a budget. Back with another video. Uh, this video is a, a, a tutorial how to do two things, really. How to get navigation in your 2015 plus OEM uh, Uconnect screen without going to a dealer and spending $650. And also adding Apple TV to your Uconnect. Um, this idea I was thinking about, but I had a friend named Anthony. Uh, he was already in the process of doing it. And me and him was going back and forth, basically trying to do it better and better and better. So we finally came up with something together as a team. And the stuff I'm going to introduce you with is the stuff you really need, the minimum. Um, yeah, so... We we're going to add Apple TV and navigation to your car. How are you going to add navigation? Um, of course, if you have an iPhone, Apple TV, iPhone, I have an iPhone. I'm going to mirror my navigation from my cell phone to the Apple TV. Now, if you don't have an a, a iPhone, you could do a mirror box. But let me tell you, the quality of that is not going to be good as the Apple TV. The Apple TV like almost look like 1080p 4K on the screen. But if you get a mirror box, good luck on that. But I don't think it's going to be a good quality um, like the Apple TV. So, further ado, the first thing you need, Apple TV. This is the 4th Gen. The reason why I'm going with 4th Gen, I already had this in the house in the theater room. Uh, I'm going to buy, I purchase another one, and put it back in the theater room. But the reason why I'm going with 4th Gen, because it has the remote is connected through Bluetooth, so I don't have to have the device nowhere around to try to actually use a remote. All right. The second thing you need is an AV converter. It's powered through USB. Uh, this converts to HDMI to uh, RCA, RCA to HDMI. If you try to do the power cord, the HDMI power cord to RCA it will not work. This is what you need, AV converter. You will also need a power inverter. This is what you're gonna plug the actual Apple TV into. Now, you can do it a whole bunch of other ways, but this is the comfortable way I feel like doing it, and I think the easiest way to do it for me, this right here, is from Z Auto Tech for your Dodge Charger. This right here is a AV uh, cable to link up to your Dodge Charger so you can actually use um, RCAs in the back. So it comes with one audio and two videos. This is optional. Um, I got this from Steve White Parts, 60 something dollars maybe. Um, currently, this is how mine is, and this is the one I'm going to be installing. You also got to have a Z Automotive, Z Auto Tech, whatever you want to call it, taser to make sure this all works. So, I really didn't want to buy this because this thing costs $250. Uh, I'm not about it, this helps for performance and all that stuff, pages and all that stuff. I really don't care about all that. But the sucky thing is, I have to keep this plugged in to use the AUX right here. So if I want to use my front view camera, this has to be plugged in. If I want to use my Apple TV uh, and then mirror the navigation off of my phone for the Apple TV, I would have to keep this plugged in. So didn't want to buy it, but I bought it. Oh, well. Um, the other things you need, guys, how I'm going to hook it up, you're going to need at least 10 feet USB extension, female and male. This is for the camera. You only just need one of these. You just need one RCA to run to the front of the car. I don't have the camera yet. It's coming. So I'm going to go ahead and run the wires anyway. So when I get the camera, I just got to plug it up. And then you need HDMI, of course, for the Apple TV. And then you need RCAs for the Apple TV to go into 
the back of the screen. So let me get started and I'll see you when I'm done. Well, not when I'm done, when I'm starting. I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. Y'all gonna see, just wait, just wait, just wait. All right, guys, so how I'm gonna install mine, I'm gonna install mine backwards. I'm gonna run what I need here to the front first and then take the dash apart, put the uh, RCAs behind the radio and then run that through there. So yeah, it's kind of backwards, but I think this is the best way for me. All right, so a lot of y'all might not want to do this, but I'm going to do it. So, okay, so how, how the inverter, the power inverter works, right, guys? So remember I told you the AV converter is powered through USB. So I'm going to use this is the power for the for that for that right there, and then this is the power for the uh, Apple TV, which is right there. Now, how I'm going to do it though? All right, you see here, it's powered on, right? So I'm going to leave this right here, but how I'm going to run the wires, the USB, I'm going to drill a hole bottom. So I'm going to pull this up. This is this little thing. It has four bolts down there. One, two, three, four. And then when you do that, you can actually, watch this, lift up the back. All right, you see how it's lifted up? So I'm actually going to drill a hole down there where the actual screw goes because I'm not going to need all four of those screws to hold this down. So the one I'm going to do is the one to the closest to this part. So I'm going to make that hole bigger. And that's where I'm gonna run my wires through the front like that, okay? So remember, remind you, remind yourself, I have to run the RCA, I mean the RCA. Remind you, I have to run the USB from here all the way up there. And then the power cord from the, I bought this, it's just 15 feet power cord for the Apple TV all the way up there. All right, you got it? Y'all got it? Okay, let's get started. Remember, I'm gonna drill a hole. All right, guys, so, this is what I was telling you, when you do undo the four bolts, look how high it goes up off the ground. Ran the wire through, I used a Three, I think it's a three-fourths. Yeah, three-fourths. This is actually simple. This material is really thin. I barely had to put any force. So, yep, ran the wire. So, this wire right here is going to be ran to the front, of course. And then, so what I'm about to do now, I'm about to put the bolts back in. One, two, three. Remember, I'm not doing this one. I'm not going to do that one. So, that's the one I ran the wires through. Let me see if I can zoom in. Let's see, let me lift it up so you can see it. See, that's the hole I made to run the wires through. Okay, so I'm gonna put the bolts back in, and then look how look how easy that is. A place right on there. It's that simple. Don't even know. I mean, that's where I'm going to put the inverter at. All right, guys. So, yeah. So, that's basically, that's it. I put the, I put the bolts back in. Show you real fast. Put the bolts back in, as you can see. And dropped the little rubber thing right here. Lay the inverter down. And then when I want to activate, when I want to uh, watch Apple TV, 
plug this in. And then that's it. Close it. It's that simple. That simple. And then of course, you can have this on like this. So on. Don't want nobody to see it. Be just like that. Close. That simple. So now, what I have to do now, guys, I'm going to have to run the wires to the front real quick and then take out the dash. So that's going to be my next uh, biggest thing right there. Is taking that bad boy out. That's the only thing that's actually making me nervous. Um, but yeah. And every time I don't, every time I'm not in the car, I just unplug the cigarette lighter. And that's it. Just that simple. All right. Seventy-five cent. Well, dollar twenty-five cent mine for me. All right. So this is the USB and the power cord. So basically, I'm just tucking the wires all the way up with the same console up until. I get right here and then I'm gonna fish the wires up to the dash. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just take the dash apart now. Uh, probably make it simpler for me. Take the radio, et cetera, et cetera. So get ready guys. too soft. Anthony told me that, but I forgot to go buy some. So, I'm gonna try. Nope, that won't work. Very simple. I thought they, they you don't supposed to use nothing metal, guys, but I didn't have no option and I wasn't trying to go to the store and buy nothing. So, yeah. All right, guys, so finally got the dash out. Um, so now I need to take the actual radio, the 8.4 screen out, which is held by t uh, one, two. Three, four, four uh, Phillips screwdriver, screwdriver, Phillips uh, screws, and then I can install the AUX stuff. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Um, taking off this was not really hard. Yeah, so it's scary, but not hard. Um, I used a flathead screwdriver, but you don't supposed to use nothing metal, so they say, but I use it anyway. It is what it is. So let's get it and add this to the back of the radio so I can install the Apple TV. And then whenever I get my front view camera, install that. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Wish me luck. Ooh, it's hot out here. Look at this sweat, guys. Huh? Look at this sweat. That boy's sweating out here making these YouTube videos for y'all. See that, guys? I try to help y'all out. And I'm out here sweating. I don't even sweat at work. Nah, but finally got the radio off. About to take it apart. Uh, let me get a quick snapshot of the colors. So I won't mess up nothing. Yep, so let's keep it going, guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. Apple TV front view camera coming soon. All right, we got the radio in a safe place over here. Now, what I need to 
do on the instructions. I need to pop these red things off right here. Just pop it to the side. I mean up, I mean, and then insert these wires in the back of it. So I'm kind of nervous of doing this, but hey, you learn, you're gonna learn today. So, finally got everything connected. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm about to test everything before I put everything back. So, yeah, so that's the AV uh, converter thing, Apple TV, the inverter. So, I'm about to plug in the inverter. And remember, USB runs that to get power. So, I'm about to start the car up right now. All right, so of course you gotta have the taser cut, uh, plugged in. Uh, remember, I'm changing this out so I can use the AX, A, UX buttons right here. But if you push, the... all right, guys. So everything is currently working. The Apple TV is on. Uh, yeah, so the Apple TV is currently on. What I noticed about having the USB in the uh, inverter. I don't know if the inverter is not strong enough, but the USB got really hot, so I had to connect it to that USB that the factory come with the car. So maybe because the inverter is only 120 watts, I'm not for sure, but everything seems to be working. And to get your Apple TV to work, if you have hotspot on your uh, on your phone, that's the way you're gonna be able to get the hotspot on your in your car to work. So if you don't have hotspot on your phone, this probably will not work for you. Uh, so my stuff's not set up yet, of course. Got everything tucked away. Got the Apple TV put to the side right here. The AV converter. Yep, there it goes. Apple TV and 2015 Dodge Charger. Um, once I get my, the other video I'm using is for my um, front view camera, which is this what this RCA is right here. So once I get that in, I want to be running that to the front because I don't want to take the radio back off. So yep, Apple TV. And this is how I'm gonna get my navigator. I'm gonna mirror my phone to here and that's how I get my navigation. See, you gotta pay $650 to get navigation in your radio. $650. Alright guys, let me give you a quick rundown how this works. Um, 
So like I told you, I had it on hotspot. Robert's iPhone. That's me, of course. So I got it hooked up to my hotspot. Um, and then if you wanted to, you can actually play music or whatever you want to do. So let's go right here. This was actually on my, uh, in my iTunes for my phone, so. See? All right, it plays the music, don't want to get copyrighted. Um, and then also, let me switch to my, switch to the GoPro, guys. All right, so. Cut that off. So you go to AirPlay, Apple TV, and then you see that on, and then it mirrors my phone. And then I just go to navigation, of course. Let me click in some kind of address. Uh, what the hell is going on? Uh, let's just go. Let's go somewhere by my house so again. Let's go elementary school. And then let's just go start. And then you heard it talk. Actually, let's do it again so you can actually hear it. Head north on Harlem Road toward Beechnut Road. And yeah, so. And then when you go in reverse, it goes back to your camera, which is pretty cool. So let's just drive. Turn right onto Beechnut Road. See, there's navigation. I didn't have to pay six hundred fifty dollars to do navigation. Head east on Beechnut Road toward Harlem Road. Which I think is awesome. Mission Boulevard. And I know people is going to ask me, why did you do all this just to get navigation? And you could just went to a dealer to pay $650 for navigation. But honestly, I'm paying less than $650 and I get a whole lot more. Now I can have the option of watching Netflix on my, on my Uconnect, listening to music, watching music videos, watch ABC News, anything that Apple TV has, I can watch it versus just paying $650 and just using navigation. So that's the reason why I went this route because I get a lot more money, more bang for my buck doing it this way. So um, I still have to do the controls and I do that probably later on today or after I come to gym. Um, that's my wife calling me. And if you don't want none of this stuff to pop up, all you gotta do is put your phone and do not disturb. Guys, but that's how you get Apple TV on your Uconnect screen. Um, I think this is something some people would like. This is something some people won't like. So, in order to get the audio to work, like I said, you have to use a taser to go in here and put C. It's going to say DVD and CD. You have to cut. You have to cut that on, and then you have to push disc up there, and that's the only way you can get the audio to work through your UConnect. So that's the only way you can get your audio to work through your UConnect. Um, if you have any questions, guys, feel free to. Um, Feel free to comment below. I can answer any of your questions. And like I said, I want to give a huge shout out to Ant Anthony. Um, I want to have his YouTube in the description below and go holler at him. Um, I can't believe me and him did it. He did it first. Um, I 
rewired mine a different way. I think he rewired his the same way as mine, not for sure. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Now I have navigation, don't have to pay. I think it's awesome. So this Robert, you tube it on the budget piece. Oh yeah, yeah, hold on. So once I get my front, uh, front view camera in, and I'll be doing that, install next, so that'll probably be uh, a video I should be doing pretty soon. Hopefully it comes soon. So, yeah, peace.